All right, boys, now we're in the Riders Boutique. I want to show you uh, my suspension. Today is going to be a suspension setup kind of education. I'm 90, ooh, 93 kilo after all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Supposed> maybe 92.3. <laughs> I lost a little bit of weight because lately I've been enjoying life and food and, yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Up. Yeah, yeah. I'm riding the Topaz from DVO. What I like the most about this suspension is uh, the way you can um, take this little hovering out, take the air off, take this out, and build. And you can play with uh, putting two rings of plastic on the uh, upper chamber or the bottom, like uh, positive or negative. The thing is, um, I ride two on the, on the top and one on the bottom. I ride. 200 uh, psi and uh, what I like the most for my high tower uh, I like to ride the 25 to 30 uh, is basically this 25 to 30 of sag okay right there because uh, I like my bike to be plush on the way down I really like to use the, the most of it on the suspension and when I climb doesn't matter because I have this little thing if you see here I will lock my suspension and when I go to the top this is for better pedaling in the middle and this is wide open I like when she is wide open and a rebound control and uh, yeah that's that's my setting for me but uh, like I say I'm 93 kilos I'm riding usually 200 and 210. Depends uh, if it is big drops or not. The first thing is uh, you need to sit on the bike. And um, you sit on the bike and you will see how much you're using of the full travel suspension. If you're using this, obviously it's way too much because you're passing 50%, you're probably like 65 or something. What you want to ride is 30% because obviously if you ride a 55 or 60% on the first hit and even when you will sit on that and start pedaling, you will go like straight there. You don't want that. Then uh, 25 to 30% or even 35 depends how much travel you have. And uh, that will determine how much sag you will use. Same for uh, front uh, suspension. The sag is important like 25 to 30 percent. I'm 93 kilos. I like uh, the fork to be quite steep, uh, stiff. But what I like the most about my bike is to have my bike uh, well, um, oh. well balanced. I like to have uh, the rear and uh, uh, the rear shock and uh, the front suspension to be balanced. What is it? It's basically when I push, both go down at the same time with the same uh, kind of uh, stiffness because a, a bike well balanced make a lot of difference on the track you don't want to have like a super super stiff fork and really really soft rear suspension it don't make sense then uh, for the DVO for the DVO I'm using that that's a boost diamond I'm using uh, usually a ride on one or two this is um, the low speed and um, what I used is 120, 128. That's what I use. 130 usually it's too hard and 125 if it's too steep sometimes I dive in a little bit too much and uh, 128 is what I use the most. I try to ride the same kind of as well spacers on the steering wheel because as well this could affect, it would affect obviously your position on the bike, you would be sitting more on the rear of the suspension and it will affect uh, the, the riding and the driving on your bike because you will be more standing and you will not dive as much. Then uh, that's really important. Every time you, you do a setup, try to set up your bike step by step, one piece by one piece. Don't try to change your brakes with your handlebar as well with your pressure tire and your suspension. No, step by step, you need to find out what it's not going well on your bike. And the only way to do that is to go step by step, uh, step by step and pieces by pieces. Okay, enough. What is really important about suspension? Obviously, you see all this button, yeah. It's difficult, you have a pressure, 
uh, rebound, compression, high speed, low speed. But definitely something really important to be focused on. Why? Because this makes such a big difference on something that works really good and you feel comfortable with, than something that is not sticking to the ground. And it will make your riding so much better. All of a sudden you feel like you Greg Binar. But because you make your bike making sense, you know, it's well balanced, it's uh, working fast enough to get all the heat out of your hand, um, your, you know, the big hits. Uh, when you're diving into a steep um, compression, the same is not diving in right away, all the way to the bottom of your travel. So many things will make your riding make so much more sense just because you learn how the suspension, I mean, it's hard, it's a lot things to understand but you know run by run you can do two click there one more run another click there but never do like two click of compression and take two or three click out of rebound you know no step by step as I say you have to be like a, it's a rule you don't change everything in once but definitely something to be really focus on is your suspension. You need to learn, read the book, look everything, don't hesitate to go on a DVO website that will teach you a lot of things. And uh, yeah, you need to go to a place as well, really important than you, you're really familiar with, because uh, it's always easier to go to a track, you know um, how it feels like already with a, uh, another bike before, another set of suspension before, or just because you're going to do runs all over and all over again and you will feel more and more comfortable with maybe um, the little clicks you're going to find out and it, it make your riding a lot better. Could be compression or maybe you like the rebound a lot faster, uh, maybe you like stiff suspension or a lot more sag. All this stuff, this is really personal, but you need to learn because this is the most, you will be so impressed how quick and how more comfortable you will be when you find out the right setup for you. But your setup for you is for you and maybe it will not work for, some, for someone else. We all different on that. Oh, that's it, CG tip, CG tip, hey, tip, hey, tip, tip. <laughs>